All right, well, Brother Sexton, uh, tell me a little bit about who you are, first of all. Uh, well, uh, my name is Jerry Sexton, and uh, we have, uh, my wife and I and our, started off with all of our family traveling. We have four children, uh, but uh, for the last 17 years, we've had a privilege of uh, representing a Bible printing ministry out of my home church, mm -hmm. which is First Baptist Church in Milford, Ohio, uh, called Bearing Precious Seed. And uh, Kim grew up, her, her father, uh, Brother Bob Ford was a missionary with Bearing Precious Seed back in the early days. They, they moved up to Milford in uh, 1977 okay. uh, to work in the ministry. And uh, uh, that's how we ended up meeting and uh, growing up. So I've known her since I was seven years old. <laughs> but uh, Very good. But we, uh, after being an assistant pastor and uh, for about 14 years, um, we had the opportunity to take my youth group on a mission trip to Mexico. Okay. And uh, down there, we're, actually, you were down there with us too Juarez, at one time in yep. Juarez. <laughs> and on the streets in Juarez, uh, my first time there, uh, watching people's response when they received a copy of the Word of God. Yes. Um, gripped me. And uh, we came back, we resigned, and uh, that was in July, or the, the trip was in Ju June of 2004. And uh, we went full time uh, March first, mm -hmm. two thousand five, and uh, so that's what we do is try to get into as many independent Baptist churches as God will allow and share the need for the Word of God and uh, some of the the requests that we have coming in with God's people, mm -hmm. and ask folks to prayerfully consider partnering with us as we partner with the uh, missionaries and the nationals on the field that are going to sow the seed. Amen. And uh, raise raise the funds for those rolls of paper and to produce that. Um, and a lot like what you guys are doing here uh, with your seed line, uh, where the goal is to provide scriptures at no cost to the missionary. Right. Um, and uh, when possible, in the the mother tongue, their natural heart language. Um, and uh, I, I, I say when possible because uh, literally... 40% of the globe doesn't have a single verse of scripture in yes. their language. Yeah. And, uh, but that's, that, that's what we do. That's, uh, Amen. Well, uh, as you know, my YouTube channel is basically focused on history yes, and everything, uh, but people think of history, you know, it's all something old and something in the past and everything. Yeah. But we are still writing history now. Oh, yes, and, sir. Uh, just as the missionaries in the 1800s had to translate uh, the Bible into these languages that in the places they went to, sure, uh, there is still a need for the scriptures in those languages uh, sure. uh, even today. So sure is. You're helping with that, and uh, we really appreciate that. One of the projects, the the most widely spread scriptures uh, for the whole Myanmar area, mm -hmm. um, that that whole area was at an Iron Judson's translation. Yes, yes, absolutely. and uh, that's we're still printing it. Yes. Uh, and uh, it, th th think about that. Somebody has been dead for well over well over 100 years, probably over 150 years. Yes. And the work that he was doing then is still producing fruit. That's that's absolutely true. Um, and you may, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Myanmar, which used to yeah. be Burma, right. um, they have the third largest Baptist population yes, in the world after yep. only China and the United States right. being first. Yep, so. that's, I, I was aware of that. Yes. Yeah. I wasn't aware that China was. Yeah, China's number two. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. Uh, they're the largest Bible producer okay. in the world. Wow. Uh, through Zondervan. Uh, even ahead of uh, the United States. They, they, print, they, they print for Zondervan. Wow. Matter of fact, most of if you go to Walmart or something and buy one of Wal the, the gift Bibles, yes. um, they're usually in the front, you'll see printed in China. Wow. <laughs> Think about that. If that person on that press line had the very thing that they're producing in their home, they could be killed. This is true. That, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> that's but, actually... Uh, the, wow. the, the whole concept, uh, you look in Scripture, Brother Bill, one of the reasons why Bearing Precious Seed got started uh, was because of the whole biblical principle of God, God's plan was for His people mm -hmm. um, to be the ones responsible for the handling of His Word. Right. Um, the, the, the common phrase that we like to use is holy hands handling the holy. Okay, yes. Um, and you look in, in Scripture, historically, there was one of... of the Levitical priesthood, he had three sons, Gershon, Merari, and Kohath. Yes. Of those three sons, uh, one of them, the sons of Kohath, was where the, Levi the, the priest 
came from with the right. scribes. All of those were Kohathite priests. Um, there was literally one family group mm -hmm. that had the responsibility of caring for the scriptures. That's good. Um, and uh, that's, that's the care and the, the concentrated attention of what God's plan was. Right. Of preserving it from generation to generation. Yeah. And uh, we, we've lost that. We, in, in our age of uh, convenience, mm -hmm. And microwave <laughs> Christianity, if you want to call it that, yeah, we have accepted letting the world handle God's word and produce it. It's sad. Um, and it, is it any wonder why we have over a hundred English translations, <laughs> when when over forty percent of the lang over seven thousand, well over seven thousand major languages spoken today. Yes. And literally over three thousand of them don't have a single verse. Yeah. And we that have the truth as a whole, spend most of our time trying to come up with another translation in English. Yes, it's a shame. It's a shame. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I just this past weekend in our Bible Institute was teaching on the Waldenses, and the texts on, upon which the King James Version of the Bible is based on, uh, they were mostly uh, passed down through the, uh, the they're the ones who um, were uh, responsible for the Latin Vulgate, uh, yeah. not, not Jerome's Vulgate, but the, uh, the original Latin uh, Vulgate, uh, that many other of the texts that uh, led up to the King James, it was down through the Waldenses, so even during that time, this is uh, in the New Testament period or our modern period, you could say, uh, from the time of the apostles till now, uh, it's still only been handled by a select group of people uh, passed down through generations, whereas the other uh, branches of so-called Christianity, the Alexandrian uh, yeah. Christianity and all yep. that, uh, they had the corrupt text, which they promoted, but it was a specific group that handled the pure text and yes, sir. gives us what we have today. Yes, sir. So. Uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, something that you mentioned in services yesterday about how God is doing something great right now. Yes, and, sir. Uh, just uh, the miraculous uh, things that he, he's um, uh, been accomplishing. Yes, sir. Well, we have, I, I, I'll just tell you, uh, we're hearing a bunch of things. Okay. Um, by missionaries contacting the ministry, um, we're hearing God tell stories by us talking with other ministries. Mm -hmm. We're hearing the same kind of things that we've experienced okay. taking place. But uh, I'll, I, won't, I won't tell you those. I'll just tell you what God's done at our ministry. Okay. Very good. Um, we have uh, for years, the, we, here, we just mentioned about the languages uh, not having a translation of the Bible. Um, our pastors had a burden uh, for probably close to 12 years that we needed to start a translation school. Okay. Um, because most of the ones that are doing it don't see the, the value of sticking with the right text. Right. Um, so they, they just translate, and um, that, that's not what we believe is the biblical position to take. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we wanted to start a school of translation. Problem with that is that takes a level of scholarship mm -hmm. um, that is beyond most people. Right. Um, you don't just take volunteers. That, there, there's a lot of uh, scholastic aptitude that needs to be there to be able to, to, to do all that process. Absolutely. And uh, unfortunately, that takes funding. Mm -hmm. um, with translation, it takes a lot of time. So our, our, his, he, he felt that we needed to do it. He, he knew that that was, uh, from a practical standpoint, that's the missing element mm -hmm. of getting the gospel to the entire world is translation. Right. I mean, what, what value would it be, Brother Bill, for us to take our Bible and give it to somebody, uh, pick a country, right. in Malawi, and hand them my English Bible as they can't understand if they it. can't read it? Yeah. Right. So it's got to be translated. And uh, so, but we, Pastor knew that, that was the goal. Um, we even brought back one of the young men that, was a, um, that grew up in our ministry, that worked on staff. He went and planted a church in Colorado. Um, brought him back, and he was going to head up our school of translation. Okay. A pastor felt led by faith. Uh, we were in September 2020. It was going to be the time. We we're just going to by faith. We we're going to go ahead and kick it off and start it. Right. Um, didn't have funding for it. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it was July of 2020. Well, COVID hit. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. uh, COVID hit. Um, all the church, we were we were unable, and this this brings into the 
us and our role with getting into churches and sharing the need as well, no one was able to travel. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get into churches and share the need. Right. Um, and uh, so the, the way that our ministry has been supported since we began printing in 73, we're a support-based ministry. Um, so the way that God has funded it up until now, that was unable to be done. Mm. And uh, so at, at a time when, from a human standpoint, we were at our most vulnerable position and at our weakest state, right? Um, God has, has done the most that we've ever experienced. Um, and, and again, so with the translation, there was an individual came through. They, they toured the ministry. Um, uh, they were talking about what we were going to be doing with the School of Translation. That's a postgraduate school. We have a Bible college right. uh, to, to train missionaries and, and people in ministry. Um, but this is a postgraduate. And uh, so they, we, they came through, they explained all that to them. Um, they end up contacting our pastor back and said, God's touched our heart. We want to be involved. And... Uh, Long story short, gave him a check for a million dollars with a promise of two hundred and fifty thousand for the next two years, this year and next year. Okay. Um, so, so that's a million and a half for the school of translation. Right. Uh, this year we started. There were twenty-two students, most of them overseas, um, working with. Uh, we have several linguists um, that are working on different projects around the globe that that literally teach phonetics and. Um, uh, ling training principles mm -hmm. uh, to these guys and, uh, and, and women that are involved. And uh, so, so God did something way beyond what we could have done. God provided that. Well, at the same time, we're, we're raising money for scriptures. Mm -hmm. uh, 2020 started off for us. I know for me personally, um, that, that was the most productive, the most fruitful January and February that I'd ever experienced. Uh, God was blessing. Um, all, I, I, I think every single church, but there may have been one that didn't, possibly. So I say right. almost every church right. was responsive. Uh, they got involved. They, they wanted to do something when we would present it. Um, we got back. We were in a mission conference in February, the end of February, last week of February, 2020, uh, in Missouri. Um, it's one of the best conferences that I've been in since I was a, a child. Mm -hmm. And uh, God did something. And um, uh, we, we got back, and that's when COVID hit. Everything locked up. Couldn't travel anymore. Couldn't raise it. At that time, we were still trying to raise $200,000 for projects. And uh, we're thinking, God, this doesn't, this doesn't make sense. Right. Um, these people were on the other side of the globe still wanting the Word of God, and uh, we can't get it to them. We can't do anything. And uh, individual came through, and uh, <laughs> um, I don't know which one to which one to tell you first because <laughs> there's several things happen at the same time. Right. Um, we also had started praying that God would provide us with a second press. Okay. Um, our the press our main web press the full web press um, that we've been using since '95. Uh, uh, it was $2 million press in 95. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what our, our director had did some calculating and figuring that uh, we were spending just under two months of shop hours, man hours, in set up and tear down to print, uh, to switch it over from John and Romans to New Testaments uh, to whole Bibles. So our prayer was, God, how much more efficient could we be with, with the fund and your money uh, that, that folks are sending in support for if we had a second press right? Th where one could stay set up to do John and Romans, mm -hmm. one could do whole Bibles and New Testaments, um, but we knew God would have to provide it because we sure didn't have the money for a press. And um, You can do that. <laughs> it, well, so we started praying. Well, uh, in, two th in, in 2020, even in spite of us not being able to be in churches, um, we saw over $200,000 come in for National Bible, which was our goal. Mm -hmm. uh, we were able to produce about 8.5 million copies of the Word of God um, and ship them overseas uh, and around the world. And um, th that was without us getting into churches to raise right. anything. God did it. Amen. Well, at the end of 2020, uh, we also heard that there was a press available. 
Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we, they, communication uh, began with those folks and, and we just, we couldn't afford it. And uh, there was just no way we could afford it. And they went back and forth a couple of times and the, the end result was we just, now nah, it's, we're gonna have to walk away. We, right. we can't come up with that kind of money. God sent, God uses people. Yes. God sent an individual through the shop. He toured the ministry. God touched his heart. He told our director, he said, you know what, I wanna be involved. Um, he said, I'll get back in touch with you. Long story short, I ended up giving, we were able to pay cash for that press, <laughs> have it torn down. It took nine semi trucks to bring that press to our property. Wow. Um, paid for a crew to come in and set it up and assemble it. Um, and in November, uh, we ran, it was a six web press. Okay. Which means we could print 96 pages at one pass. Um, and uh, we were able in, in November, the first week in November uh, last year, we ran all six webs and we did just under 170,000 John and Romans in one shift. <laughs> um, and we literally have the capacity of printing almost a truckload of paper a day. Wow. Um, and every penny of that was paid for, right. and God did it. <laughs> in addition to that, um, as if that wasn't enough, um, we also, again, had, had a goal of $200,000 for National Bible. We still were not able to be getting into churches. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, again, and God sent an individual through, they toured the ministry, they told our director, said, you know what, um, I, this is incredible, I want to be a part of this, uh, God's, God's touched my heart, we want to be involved, I'll be in touch with you. He put up $250,000 matching funds, that if we could raise $250,000, they would contribute an additional $250,000. Right. Um, God provided that first two hundred thousand dollars or two hundred and fifty by June. <laughs> um, that's that had never been done right since we began in seventy three for us. Uh, he called back in July and uh, asked our director, said, How you guys doing with the matching funds? And he said, Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but we've already reached it. <laughs> he said, Wow, he said, you still have six months left. I'll put up another two hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> God provided that. Right. So we saw over a million dollars for paper last year. Wow. Um, and uh, God provided every bit of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so easily, easily well over, uh, actually probably over $3 million. Wow. We've seen God do. Right. Um, and Beyond uh, what you've ever done in the past. <laughs> w uh, way, way. My Bible tells me that my God is able to do exceeding abundantly <laughs> above all that we ask or Absolutely. think. Absolutely. Man, has he ever proved it. Amen. Um, and uh, I, so when I, when I tell, when I stand up here and I tell folks God is doing something on a scale like we've never seen, mm -hmm. that's not, that's not a, a, a flippant use of words. Amen. That God is doing something. Because we're, we're hearing the same thing. I think I mentioned it, uh, where I said it in no a church in North Carolina two weeks ago, and there were two different missionaries, one over in Africa, one of them in the Philippines. Um, both of them said after the service, uh, so Brother Sagan, you're, you're exactly right. right. We're seeing God open doors like we've never seen before. And these guys have been there for 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, well, one of them more than that. And uh, God's doing something. Yes. Uh, I, I do believe with all of my heart that the, it is a final gleaning. Right. Yes. Um, uh, we're in the last days. Yes, sir. No question and, about uh, that. Uh, it, it's just, it, it, it shouldn't, and it's kind of convicting, but um, <laughs> God just amazes us over and over and over again. Yes. Um, and, and it shouldn't. No, knowing, knowing the nature of our God, it shouldn't surprise us. But old man does it ever. Yes. <laughs> he well, just, he, you know, it, it's incredible. We're, we're, uh, we look in the Bible and we see things like uh, the Red Sea crossing and yeah. these extravagant miracles and everything. And in our modern day, we don't see anything quite that, we'll say flamboyant. Yeah. Uh, and so we think that God doesn't work miraculously, but that's not true. That's, that's not, not true, true at all. At all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, um, at a time where it, 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 this is the hardest that it's ever been, in the history of the printing industry mm. to get paper. Uh, we don't just use newspaper print because it doesn't hold up. We, right. we use what's called 
fine quality Bible paper. Okay. Uh, it's produced by hardwood trees. Um, it's not produced by pine and things for newspaper print. Right. It, it's, it's a different different paper. And uh, you about can't find it. Uh, we, we had to order it from Spain a couple of times last year. Okay. And, uh, but um, at a time, we've had to pay as high as $1,100 a roll wow. uh, for it, which for decades we paid ar in, around 450 a roll. Right. Um, and uh, again, we're a support-based ministry. Yeah. Um, if we were a business and our cost to overhead goes up, you just raise the cost of your product right. and pass that, uh, that, that increase on to your customer. It doesn't work that way for you. It doesn't <laughs> work that way. So with us being support-based, when our overhead goes up, that's fewer requests we can fill. That's right. Fewer people around the globe that will receive a copy of the gospel. And uh, so that's, that's a big deal. And uh, so, but inevitably, at a time when everybody's telling us we don't have any, we don't have any paper, we can't get paper, a supplier will call and say, you know what, <laughs> we've got some in the corner of a warehouse. Can uh -huh. you take it? And God, God's provide it. I, I tell you one one interesting story. It, um, we we had a, the going rate at the time was just under eleven hundred dollars a roll. Okay. We had a supplier call uh, last fall and uh, that we had dealt with for a long time. And he told our director, he said, I, I, I've got a, a paper I can give you for a little over $400 a roll. And our director said, man, that's awesome. What, what is, it, is it good quality Bible paper? He said, yeah, it's good quality Bible paper. It was produced over in, over in uh, Europe and uh, it's good stuff. He says, well, man, how, can you, how, how soon can you get it to me? He says, well, there is a catch. <laughs> Brother Al says, well, a catch? What is it? He says, well, it's canary yellow. And Brother Al was telling me, he says, Jerry, he said, I, I started to tell him no, and it's like God hit me over the head. And it, the thought hit me. He said, people on the other side of the world that have never, if somebody's mm -hmm. never seen a Bible before, they don't know it's not supposed to be canary yellow. <laughs> so they, he said, can you send me a sample of it? And they did, and we put it on the press, and uh, they, they ran it, and he said, you would not believe how crisp that black showed up off of that yellow right. paper. <laughs> he said it looked great. So um, we went ahead and ordered, got a, a whole truckload of canary yellow paper. <laughs> it's on our property. As soon as they run it, I told them, pull me a couple copies. Yes. Because I need them to take with me. But um, as of right now, we're going to have uh, scripture. I forget the I forget the the language but it's going to ethiopia okay um it's going to be uh canary yellow bibles <laughs> uh going over there and uh but it's just what what god is doing and how he is doing it uh first thessalonians 2 4 paul makes a statement he says uh, but as we were allowed of god mm. to be put in trust with the gospel even so we speak uh, not That's as pleasing right. men but god it, 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 it tried the hearts and uh, the honest truth is, Brother Bill, God doesn't need us. That's absolutely true. <laughs> he allows us to be a part. Yes. And uh, what a what it's a, a privilege. <laughs> yes, exactly right. What a humbling, what a humbling truth that is. Mm -hmm. But man, what an exciting opportunity. Yeah. To be involved with what God's doing. Absolutely. I've been uh, in Sunday school. I've been teaching through the Book of Acts. Yeah. And uh, taught on uh, Peter and Cornelius. Yeah. And how an angel appeared to Cornelius and said, "Oh, send for Peter to preach the gospel to you." Now that angel could just have easily have given him the gospel. Sure and he could, could have, have gotten saved right yep. then and there. But it's because God wants us to be involved. That's exactly in right. In the gospel. So. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Hey, think about that. Peter didn't want to go. No. He, he, he had to see it three times. Yes. Um, and he said, not so, Lord. That's exactly right. Exactly well, right. And, one uh, of the only contradictions in Scripture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not so, Lord. Yeah. Can, can you imagine? Yeah. But uh, it, it's a, it, it, it truly is amazing. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what God is doing in the grand scale. Mm-hmm. Um, one day on the we'll see on the other side of the eternity we'll be able to look and see what the the fruit was, but uh, he is without a doubt he is doing something absolutely like, like we've never seen before and, and you wouldn't know that if all you ever see is the United States and our news media yeah matter of fact it would get discouraging 
and you would think, what's the use? Um, no, no one's sticking with the stuff anymore. Nothing, nothing's working. Everybody, everybody's going astray. The yeah. truth is that that's not the case. No, absolutely not. That's not the case. We, we've seen that in our church as well. Yeah. Uh, since 2020, the things God has done here, it's been incredible. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, just the, the whole mentality and uh, the attitude in the church here in the church has been uh, like never before. Wow. Uh, we have people coming in and joining the church left and right, uh, you know, from coming from, you know, sometimes uh, quite a distance. Man, oh man. Uh, you know, you know, uh, Brother Spencer and his yeah. uh, uh, YouTube and how that that's taken off. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got the church radio and uh, what uh, the influence that's having an impact around the world and, yeah. and everything. It's, it's really something else what God has been doing yes, sir. In, in that time time and it matches up to exactly what you've been yeah. you've been saying I, I, you look at it the the difference is everything that everything that you're doing has the same purpose mm -hmm. and that's to get the gospel out yes um, radio is a means to an end it's an opportunity to share the gospel with places yes. John Romans means to an end to get the gospel out what Spencer's yes. doing the same thing yeah. it, it, it's all the same thing the purpose is to get the gospel out yes absolutely. Um, and uh, it's just, uh, again, to, to, to think of all the avenues that God could have chosen. Mm -hmm. um, the Bible talked about one time that it could cause the stones to cry out. Yes, absolutely. Of all the avenues, the angels could yes. come down. How much, more, how much more effectively could they be <laughs> at spreading God than us? Mm -hmm. But the avenue that God chose to use was mankind. That's right. And uh, we, are the we are the only part of his creation that argues with him. It's true. <laughs> that puts up resistance, that thinks we know more than he does. Yes. Um, and, and we are what he chose to carry his name, his reputation, uh, to share his honor and his glory. Man. And uh, man, what, what a privilege it is. Yeah, it is. It's a privilege to serve him. It's for that matter, it's a privilege even to be saved. That's exactly right. Uh, we didn't deserve it. No, uh, no, sir. Never, you know, uh, you mentioned about uh, all of this is to get the gospel out. Uh, even on my YouTube channel, I made sure that one of the first videos that I posted was uh, an old message that I preached that was a salvation message because I wanted salvation to yeah, be on there. Sure. I uh, didn't want anyone to come to that channel and not uh, hear about Jesus Christ yeah. and how he saves. Right. And, yes, sir. <laughs> but, amen. Man. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with yes, me. Yes, well, I appreciate uh, the opportunity. Exciting things going on. And, yes, you know, sir. We, I believe we're living in the last days, and I'm excited to see what God's going to continue to do. Yeah. And just looking forward to his soon return. You know, I, I didn't mention, as part of okay. it, we were able, with what God provided, we were able to do over 10 million copies last year. Wow. Um, it was 13 different languages. Um, three of them were new translations. Okay. Um, we've already done over 3 million this year. Okay. How does that compare to previous years? Uh, the, the 10 millions, of, we average that okay. for about the last 10 years. Okay. Um, it's, it's changed now. Uh, again, it, our limitations paper. Right. Um, being able to have paper on hand is really the only thing to, to slow it down. Right. The, there, there's people on the field that are putting out the request. Um, shipping has caused some issues. Yes. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're experiencing some wrinkles now uh, that have never been factors right. uh, before. Uh, watching, you're, you're still producing. <laughs> watching how God navigates them. And, and I say it like that very, very literal and on purpose. God, mm -hmm. God's doing it. <laughs> yes. Um, God's doing something. And... Uh, we don't know where, where things are going to come from. Uh, I mentioned we've had to order paper from Spain because mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't get it here. Right. But God provides it. Um, I, I, no one can, uh, the amazing thing is no one can put their finger on it and say, you know what, I did that. I produced that. I generated that. Right. I went there and raised that. God's doing something. Amen. And, uh, um, but it's, it's exciting to see. I, there, I, I look forward to what God is going to do here. I look forward. You're covering some things uh, 
with your channel, I, the stuff that I've never, I, I don't know, I've never right. heard a lot of that stuff. You guys are covering some things. Um, one, you're preserving history. Yes. But the other is, that's history that's not being taught. Yes, absolutely. Um, and uh, that, that's, some, that's some amazing opportunities Amen. with a lot of that. And uh, I, I'm, I'm grateful for uh, guys like you that have the know-how <laughs> um, and the ability to be able to do those things. And, uh, I know what, a couple things. <laughs> it, it's, 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 exciting. it's exciting to see what God is going to do mm -hmm. because the truth is the sky's the limit. There's, there's no limit. As long as we are obedient to do what God puts upon our heart, right. um, that, that's the key. Yeah. Um, everybody can't do the same thing, but all of us will answer for the same thing, and that's our obedience. Yes. Uh, one of my favorite quotes from Hudson Taylor was, uh, God's work done in God's way shall never lack God's supply. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> if, if God's doing it, you don't have to worry about where it's coming yep, from. So. Exactly right. <laughs> Amen. Exactly right. All right, well, again, thank you very much. Yes, sir. And I uh, appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> no problem. <laughs>